Okay, today's repair is some quickie steps that aren't so quick. You can see they're hanging out, not closing up all the way. We're going to see if we can't get this took care of. First of all, we're going to open it up, turn the switch off so it's not closing up on me when I'm under there. Get that done. All right. Now let's see what we can do with this thing. All right, so what I like using, because you may not know this, but these quickie steps have actually 24 pivot points. And I think some people oil them, but they don't necessarily get every pivot point. And one thing you don't want to use is like WD-40. That's just too thin. It's not going to stay with it. I like using this stuff here. It's called fogging oil. Fogger engine, fogger preservative. It's a thick oil. and It's aerosol. And I'll put a link to it that you can buy this stuff on Amazon for like $4, less than $5. But it's, it's a little oily. So it'll get in there and stick with the, with the bushing and the bearing. Uh, I've seen some people sometimes they'll spray the lithium grease on there, but, but it don't really get down into the joint. And it makes a mess. It dries up and looks nasty. But so I'm gonna go around here. See, these, these are the ones that are easy to get to on both sides. But the ones that people don't see, they are crawling in here. Turn the light on so we can see what we're doing. The ones that are kind of hidden on you are up in here. So you got this pivot point right back here that you can't hardly get to unless you get under the RV. Get that good. And you got this one way up in here. You need to get that. Look, if I can get the camera right there, you go. See it? What I'm spraying in this big bushing here. That part, you got this bush in here, see how dry that is. Kind of spray it above it. Let it run down. See how it's coming down, getting all surrounded here. Now look how dry these. Now actually, this is the good style. This if you got this style that's got the big the big half moon gear, these things hold up and last forever. Uh, this is a 2005 version. I don't know at what point in time, but later on they went to a little Chinese aluminum box and they seem to give a lot more trouble uh, it don't seem to hold up as well so if you got one like this you're in good shape maintain it now later on this is not my RV it's a friend of mine's I'm working on I want to I'm suspicious of behind this plate there's probably a big bang of bushing in here that should be lubricated but in order to get to it we're gonna have to pull all this down so I'll do a video later of actually tearing this apart taking the gearbox apart doing service on all this because I think that'd probably be a wise move. Do it now. Keep everything lubed up. Let's see, you got these pivot, po pivot points here. More and more and more. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. So we'll get all this lubed up good. See how much, much better that is than just trying to spray WD-40 or, or lithium grease. Lithium grease is not going to get in there very good. All right, so I'm going to go around get the other side real good but on oil but also while I'm under here I'm gonna put me some heavy grease on this gear so let me get my grease out All right, now this is the grease I use to, to grease the RV with that Lucas red and tacky it's, it's some good stuff so let's get some of that because when you do this you want to make sure no one is in the RV about ready to come outside or anything you want to protect your fingers I know we got 10 and all, but we want to, we want to keep all 10. I have a little dab up here too. I want to hear where it slides and rides on. So that should be pretty good. A little dab on that. Get the excess off my fingers. All right. Now let me go finish looping up these pivot points over here. We'll do a couple of openings and closings, and then I'm going to show you some more stuff uh, about what to check on these rivets. Sometimes these rivets are bad about uh, getting loose. I'm going to show you how to fix those also. All right, slowly but surely. It takes a little while getting all these pivot points, quite a few of them.
Alright. You know you're doing something when you're making a mess. Alright. Sounds good. Alright, let's open and close this a couple times. Get this grease off my fingers. Okay, time for a test. Close her up. There you go. That's where it's supposed to be. Even with these covers on here, it's still closing up all the way. Good and snug. Let me crawl underneath there and see what the gear looks like. Since I put that grease on it. Okay, Bobby, open it up. I like it. I like it. All right, close her up. One more time. All right, close her up. Okay, open it back up one more time. Oh, it's getting better all the time. All right, something to look, else to look for when you inspect your steps. See, from the factory, these are staked. And sometimes they hold, sometimes they don't. You might find uh, on our step at one point in time one side of it kept getting lower and lower to the ground and i found these stakes were no longer holding and i'd go lift up on it it was it, it was wiggling loose so i had to weld it in place i'm looking at these these all look good they sell this part here it's it's welded but everything else is staked now his step looks every stake i see looks good let me go to the other side but you gotta look careful at each one and give it a wiggle okay there's one see that is that wiggling that so the best way to fix that is raise it up while it's raised up take a spot welder and weld it i had to do that to mine so that's that's a little weak point that needs to be took care of all the other ones are tight so on his step everything's good except for this one little rivet that's something you want to catch before it goes too too far but you can just raise this up put, put your little block under it Raise it up, take a little stick welder, and put a little dot of weld, and that'll take care of it. So I'm going to show you mine where I've already done that. Okay, you see our steps here, and um, I'm looking over here. So all this is, is original. None of these have come loose. But on the other side, a couple of years ago, you can see where I had to weld it up right there, where my stake came, came loose. Um... Looks like, yep, and there's another one that, that came loose. So I had two in the past that gave me trouble that I've had to weld up. So that's something to look for. If you can find somebody with a little welder, just put a little spot of weld on it, and I'll take care of it. Because you want to preserve these. These are a whole lot better, these old steps, even if you can fix them up and keep them going. The new ones are just not built as strong where they got those little china gearboxes on them. So anyway, that's my tune-up for your quickie steps on your, on your RV. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. See you, bye.